Hello, welcome back to the channel. So. Right, rear wheels um, keep deflating. We put a new pump on it, we fan it about, we've had enough, we're gonna put springs on it. The springs have just come, second hand set for 57 quid. So we're gonna show you how to put them on. There they are, yeah. In pretty good condition. Um, the plates are there as well. So them are to convert it from um, the air to the springs because you've got no plate at the bottom because um, the, the way the bag attaches. So we're gonna do that. Right, we're gonna lift the car up. We've gotta try and get it as far forward as possible on our lift because you know what our lift's like. Um, it's that style of movable lift. So we've gotta get it as far back as we can the car. So it ain't on the radius arms because we want the shocks to hang as low as possible so we can get him in without compressing him as much as possible really. So we're going to get it up in the air and see what happens. Now we know a lot of people will say, well you're taking the air off, you should leave the air on air, best, it's easy. But we have put a new compressor on there, we have checked all the lines, we have put it on the Orkai, we have tried to pump it up and it will not work. It's got showing no faults, no problems, but it will not work. Um, and as you've seen, that earlier one was burnt out we've got no no idea why it was burnt out but obviously it kept running for some reason and we can't find out why you would think it was a leak but there is no leaks we've got leak detect detector spray over everything cannot find a leak so springs it is if you don't like it you don't like it unclucky chicken right so we've got it off the radius arms now so it should allow the rear suspension to drop all the way down hopefully we'll see it's going up now Right to the rear of the car. Okay. Okay, very level. Right, it's up in the air. Bags are both deflated. Um, like I say, we ain't got a clue what's going on with them, so we're just going to get rid of them. Um, so what we've got to do is, I think we're going to unhook the um, the shocks so we can drop the... Is it going to make a difference? We might get it down a bit. If we unhook the shocks, we can drop the axle down as far as we can because you can have a pull on it then. Um, the only thing that's holding it up are the radius arms and then we're going to disconnect the bags from the top and we're going to take the bags out and we're going to put springs in so we'll show you how we do it <clears throat> right so first thing to do is get that we've gone come around the other side first thing to do is get the wheel off to get good access to the bags go wheel nuts out in the comments has anybody ever seen these land rovers split rims before um, they are definitely Land Rover, they got it stamped into the back, but I don't know what they're off. I've never seen them in, in my life. Come on. Off that comes. This also gives us a chance to check the pads, which are okay. And the discs have got no lips on them. They've just been sitting for a while, so they're rusty, but there's no lips or scoring to them. So, down here is where that plate would have to go because when you do a conversion, obviously there's nothing for the spring to sit on because the, mon the bag sits directly onto the axle. Um, so that plate has to bolt onto there. The, if we look up here, let's put the light on. That is the connector and it's um, like a, a push fit. So you have to push the collar back and then you can pull the hose out. Do you think you can do it? Or you need a screwdriver? If you get a, I mean, we are using these anymore, so there's nothing stopping us just cut through them. So we ain't got a funny about. So we can just we can just cut through these. Oh yeah. Um, save us <laughs> messing about. Yeah, the compressor's disconnected and been removed, so we can just cut through these. There's no no air or anything in that. Um, and then the bag is held on with these clips there. So you've got a clip either side, and they just push off, and then you can drop this bag down. I mean, we think these bags are good um, because they're not that old. Them decent Dunlop bags. Um, I mean, we've got a bit of rust in that area down there. So I'm having them shot, but we covered them in, um, in leaks stuff and it did work. Yeah. So we'll get them clips out. So we've got the two clips, one here. So 
well that's off and then we get the one off the other side well it's nearly off there we go it's just a little clip like that that pushes over same with the next one Side. It's Back this side. Keeps moving about, but um, that's how you get them off anyway. So we'll get that last one off. Is it going to come off? Oh, there we go. Right, let's see. It's on the end of the square, bye bye. So that's them off. So now this bag, as you can see, just pulls out. There's the fitting on the top. So you'd push that little ring back there, wouldn't you? You push that back, and then you'd pull on the hours. Mm -hmm. But that's how that comes out anyway. Um, and then the the bit of a nightmare to get out is the bottom of the bag. You have to twist. Oh, hang on. Yeah. This one might. To be fair, the twist always twist easy to getting them. Get them out the get hole. At the location. Thing, yeah. So you twist, and then hey, oh. that was super easy. But yeah, you just got a little thing on the bottom there that goes in and twists and locks. So remove that, and then this is where your plate bolts on that's come with the new springs. I'm going to look at just undoing this bolt out of here. So we've just got a bit of movement on the axle and we can push it down just when we get the spring in so we ain't got to compress it as much. It's a bit rusty around the bottom, but to be honest, I don't think it was letting air out. Well, when it, We sprayed all over that yeah, bag. When we've got pressure in it, I sprayed all this. Mm. Sprayed everything. And we couldn't see anything coming out of it. No. I mean, the only way to test it is to... Pressurise it. Pressurise it with a compressor and then have another spray. Now we can get all this open bit. If they're all right, we'll flog them. Aye. Or we'll keep them, you never know. We might have one with a busted bag. You might do. Yeah, we'll keep them. So, next job, whatever size that is, looks like uh, maybe a 19. May, yeah, better 19, I'd say. Uh, yeah, we'll get a socket on it. We'll undo that and then that'll give us the movement. He's had these terraferma shocks fitted at some point. I don't think they've been on there a massive amount of time. Um, but whoever had it before was looking after it. There's a new bump stop on there, relatively new anyway. And we've put a new one on the other side as well. And that's your breather for your axle. These all look all right. There's no perishing on the drop links for the um, anti-roll. So before we put it in, we'll probably give this a scrape and just give it a little spray around here just to protect it a bit. Right, so... <laughs> Obviously this hose line and this start to stretch. Um, so in order to be able to push it down when this is off, we've took the brake off, just off there with a the 12 point socket, and then we'll disconnect this um, ABS so we don't cause any problems with that. And while the spring is, everything's off, we're just having a clean up and a scrape of all this, and we'll give it a coat of uh, truck bed liner, just to look after it. Keep it in a bit longer, but to be honest, this chassis is pretty solid. Like we said, it's had some welds by previous people, but it is pretty solid. So we've undone that bolt up there. We'll pull that out, and then we should be able to push on the axle just to be able to get the spring in a little easier. So that there uh, is the platform that that has got to go onto. So that's upside down at the moment. It needs to flip over and go onto there. And this has got two captive nuts underneath, so we've got that day come with bolts. So we've got to find the right bolts to get in there so we can mount the spring. Right, so that's the bottom plate that the spring sits on now. It's just a couple of bolts through there. Um, the original ones, the thread is knackered on them, the captive ones that are underneath. So we put these through. We should do the same job, we'll tighten them up. And the spring has to be pushed in there and onto there, so we'll probably have to compress it um, because. Even though we've undone this, we still haven't got a massive amount of movement because the radius arms, because of the um, anti-roll bar, we don't want to unlock that really, so we'll, we'll end up compressing the spring. Right, that's in. That's how far out the spring is. We might be able to pull the axle down enough to get that in without compressing it if we're lucky. So I'm going to give that a go now. We're just going to pull on the axle and see if we can push the spring in. Right, so we just pulled down on the axle here 
and it gives enough space at the top there to push that in but you can't do that really without releasing this because this moves up and down as you pull on it and the brake if the brake was still connected you wouldn't have been able to get that in so it's worth undoing them just so you've got that extra 10 mil up here to push it in without a problem so that is the spring conversion complete we'll put the um bolt back in there we'll put the brake back on we'll do the other side and then we, with the hawkeye we're going to have to um change the to it with the Orkai, we're going to have to change it to springs from air, which you can do in the ABS or air suspension um, configuration. It just says air, yes or no, and then it should turn any lights off to do with the air suspension. You can take these off if you want. Them are the height sensors, which are, uh, high or, tell the car how high or low it is and how much air to pump into the bags and all that sort of game. Um, but you can leave them on there, they're going to cause no problems. Uh, we'll leave the air hoses, we've just cut them off. It ain't worth tracing them all back and taking them off. We have took the compressor off at least. Um, so that's it. We'll come back when we're going to show you in the Hawkeye how to turn it um, to springs and then we're done. That's the other side done. Spring, shock's been put back on. The plate there and it's had a bit of paint, scraped it off. So that's all that side done. Now we've just got to get it down, put it on the Hawkeye and turn the suspension, the air suspension off. And when we do that, we should have no lights apart from the ice one. And we're going to have to have a look at how to turn that one off. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment below. And uh, see you in the next one.